Welcome all. Welcome back to the Technus Corner. I'm your host, Seb Luca, and why don't you guys step right on in? Take a seat, take a load off, have a drink. We've got some unboxing videos to do. In actual fact, we've got three. It's not going to be a three in one, it's going to be essentially a three part series so that there's a specific unboxing video for each of the three items that we are going to be utilizing essentially together in a piece per se nothing crazy it's not a build or anything it is what you got here to see no clickbait be it video one two or three each are linked roughly with each other because the items work together the items per se are to my right and whichever video you're watching you're hearing the same introduction up until this point and that is that we've got three items to unbox today and let's get into our first item which is going to require some setup it is a HyperX Pulsefire mat gaming mouse pad and she's a big boy she's 2XL in size what does that mean? Well, over 1.2 meters long. And essentially what we're going to be doing is clearing out this space here and replacing it with a mat that fills the whole region itself. Then after that, I may or may not put these mats back on top of the larger mat because I like the additional cushioning and whenever I have an unboxing video, I've got a fresh mat underneath that I can utilize for these unboxing videos per se in our Technus Corner people. Let's suss out what this mouse pad or mat in essence, because it's more like a massive blanket, is like for our first unboxing video. So let's go. So we've got it just over here. It's a bit of a Hyper X theme, frankly. We just did a video on the unboxing of the keyboard in front of me, which is the Alloy Origins Hyper X keyboard per se. Very, very sturdy, like a brick shit house, frankly. And you guys should check out the unboxing and overview of that. Uh, we've got some different RGB, neon sort of RGB. I'm prepping it for a makeover on a side note. And that makeover will involve just keycap modding. And yeah, she, on a side note as well, guys, uh, just to cut a long story short to answer the question if you watch the video based upon the thumbnail or the short thumbnail. She fox, guys. She fox. She fox good. Yeah, so not to get sidetracked too much. Let's get back into what we're here to see, which is a decent sized mat, and it's actually called the Pulse Fire mat. Like I said, HyperX theme today. We've got, in conjunction with this, two other un unboxing videos, which will involve the Pulse Fire Dart Wireless HyperX gaming mouse, and another mouse pad that's a little smaller. That's roughly the size of what the mouse is on currently, the Corsa mouse, roughly this size, and it's got a QI charger in it. So on a side note, it means that, yes, I've got a little plan in mind pertaining to all three items working in unison together in some way, shape or form, and it not ultimately costing an arm and a leg because cut a long story short, check out the unboxing and quality of this next tech mouse pad with wireless charging because it costs less than 30 Australian dollars, guys. But we're not here for that. We're here for the 2XL mouse mat from HyperX. So let's get into the unboxing video finally. Let's go. So first things first, 
HyperX Pulse Fire Mat product warranties policy for Australia. I'm sure regionally based they may or may not attach this type of documentation to the outside surprisingly. It does have a, if you have a look here, it does specify it has a two year warranty. So that's a good thing uh, if it's upheld and necessary. It's your Pulse Fire Mat HyperX branded precision it is is the type of mat it is so it's not your super fly speed based orientated mat it's more for precision but I'm hoping that both these mats also are rather rough this one's a little more forgiving than this coarser one is I find that there's no glide here there's a bit more glide on this one the coarser mat is six millimeters in thickness the hp omen is four millimeters in thickness and essentially are uh, meant to be cushioning but i can always have more cushioning on my arms and per se as i'm working all day and i tend to when i get tired lean into the desk more rather than slouch and it puts a lot of pressure on my sometimes wrist and elbows so a bigger mat and also just to clear up some of this cabling potentially just hide it or have it symmetrical with the back end of what is essentially a massive oversized gaming mat guys so like mentioned for precision cloth material specifies it's 2xl sizing in regards to their HyperX range because sizing does vary per se but it does give you the measurements and the measurements are 1220 millimeters I'm guessing wide 610 millimeters in width or depth so coming into here and three millimeters only in thickness which is somewhat standard and should be fine but I'm curious as to the precision nature of this mouse mat. How precise is it considering these are precision mats as well? And whether it's more super fly orientated in some way, shape or form. Now, on a side note again, I've actually got another two, four, five mouse mats coming in. And essentially what I'm trying to do, if I address you guys on the whole, what I'm doing essentially is I'm making this whole sector black. I've got mouse mats for this sector, which are black as well. So that completely blacked out. This mouse mat's replaced with a completely black one as well. And I've got spares as well. I got it at a ripper deal from eBay. They were going really, really low. And I essentially got another two 1200s in length. I got one one meter, which is almost the span of his desk by 500 millimeters, which is the width of this desk. It's the color of this desk. And also one standard sort of large extended mouse mat for this section here as well so that's going to trickle in over the next couple of weeks and what we'll probably do is take a comparison video which is coming back to you guys over here regarding this extra large mouse mat that we've got from HyperX this did cost I believe, oh no, I'm having a memory blank. It was either 69 or 79 Australian dollars, guys. Okay. So the mouse mats of the same size, which I have two of coming in, they cost me $19 each. So that's something definitely to be looking at when assessing the quality. And I'll have a bit of time with this one. And then straight away, we'll get the other ones and we will do a bit of an unboxing on those and address the quality at first glance but essentially as soon as i use it i'll notice the difference between this and a what is potentially a 79 dollars mouse mat that we're unboxing now so let's not keep you guys waiting let's go through the fact that if you have a look here there's a different type of a graphic um hyperx pulsifier mat gaming mouse pad 
other languages involved as well and in the language of English, English, English durable surface highly tuned for precision flush anti-fray stitching non-slip rubber base and the base seems to look like it's indicated it's a red color which is interesting because you never get to see the highlight there's a warranty associated with this and the product code as well for reference is 4Z7X6AA if we have a look at all the other sides there's a bit of a gloss finish on the highlights of the Pulsefire mat and it's part of our HyperX Pulsefire range again 2XL with the two year warranty now without keeping you guys wondering it's just a mouse mat open it up we will let us grab our trusty unboxing tool for the Technus corner out and unleash it there and all we from the looks of it need to do is give it a bit of a nip just right there I'm going to pop this away where it belongs thank you Megatron stabby stabby it's a Decepticon knife and we're going to open up this 2XL 1220 millimeter by 610 millimeter by 3 millimeter mouse map from HyperX so let's go people now after we get it out we'll sort of half unravel it and we will then clear up a space so yeah it is red here it comes guys let's pop this box aside and as you guys can see on the inner part itself it is red i can already feel it grippy there as we pull it out oh guys I can feel the precision, the precisionness of it, and the feel quality feels on par and similar to the HP Omen. So I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic about it being a little more forgiving and a bit more slidey slidey. That's a good thing. Surprisingly, the feel of the Corsa mat is softer and smoother. This actually feels like it's sturdier and more abrasive, but that's what allows it to glide across it essentially but with that being said let us unravel it ever so slightly and there it is there as you can see it's going to pretty much take up this whole sector here so if we guys have a look over here and we shall unravel it's got a little logo over here um, or an imprint again verifying the model number of and or the item number of this mouse mat slash over large pad which is 4z7x6aa hp incorporated and we shall unroll her further still and yes what we've got here is some subtle branding just a stitched on HyperX logo which would be situated in the top right sector of the mouse mat pretty decent this rubber feeling here is interesting the texture definitely feels a lot more grippier than some of uh, other mats I've felt before but for $79 for this sizing you know it's on par with the fact that it better be fairly decent considering it's got no other features except it potentially being a precise mouse mat and doesn't include things like RGB and whatnot so yeah with that being said what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll her up lengthwise for the time being and I am impressed I'm impressed that I've got a bit of work to do I'm going to move it over here so as as you guys can see I'm a pretty big man and yeah this is uh, pretty pretty large okay rolled it on lengthwise now 
so be it only a couple of minutes I'm going to click my fingers and we're going to have this section cleaned out a lot better I have to factor in the monitor over here as well because it's going to go slightly under the monitor from sizing and whatnot and yeah we're going to disconnect all the uh, peripherals move them aside roll over these cords so that we can hide them we don't actually slide the mice around there so yeah it's just a bit of an eyesore but i can't do anything about that because of this cable which is not long enough to hide anywhere else and a longer cable of this caliber is too expensive to buy currently that's worth it so yeah with the snap of my fingers we're going to be back although i'm going to get to work and yeah so Just to pause here, a closer look at the alloy now neon Origins keyboard and back to it guys. drive for a second Potentially fast forwarded you were. I don't know how you traverse through time in that period that it took for me to set this up essentially. But we're here now. And guys, look for a precision mat. I'm already feeling the texture, the woven cloth texture on the top side. It seems quite durable, which seems very pleasant. It also has more of that feeling when I move the mouse around of freedom so it's not jarring as much meaning that if I have to do small incremental movements and be as fluent as I can pertaining to say some sort of magic select or something like that then I'm not going to have those problems that I did the other mouse mat the coarser one for the time being I may cover it still and use that one unless I'm actively working but yeah, with that being said, guys, very good quality. The stitching is supposedly not going to fray. We've got some in the uh, bottom left corner of the viewer now, which I'm fingering. And slight accent of the HyperX logoing in the top right corner, as demonstrated just there red rubber base which doesn't seem to be sliding at the moment anywhere seems and feels easy to clean because any dust that has gotten on it is just coming off it rather easily as well just with a bit of a wipe hopefully 
it won't deteriorate too much and get too grotty like I said I plan to have another one of this size or two at the very least soon we're going to compare on a budget level of just under 20 Australian dollars as opposed to 79 Australian dollars for this map and we're going to see the differences in these and one or the other is going to be the top side and one's going to be the bottom side and another's going to be spare for when eventually one of them needs to be replaced again so yeah my name's Sabluka thanks for joining us for the Hyper X 2XL Pulsefire mouse mat unboxing and just slight overview not really a review but yeah it seems to be in between slow and fast as well and yeah guys definitely not super fast whatsoever or anything like that thanks for joining me don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button it's a free way to show your support and i greatly appreciate it and no obligations so i'm going to get on to video two of the unboxings and video two is going to be our pulse fire dart wireless so join me for video two they should all be uploaded roughly around the same time if you're interested in what is essentially a step down potentially to say your i believe it's a corsa m65 mouse and or your logitech g502 which are both retail for 199 and just on a in a quick nutshell this one was 169 australian dollars so peace out y'all bye